The promise of Dialga V-Star has always been so tantalizing. Being able to attack with that V-Star attack and skip your opponent's turn seems so cool, but it hasn't come to fruition as a meta-relevant deck. Even, I'd say, at its peak with Celebrations, Mew, and Scoop Up Net, it was kind of on the fringes of competitive play, and in recent months, people have been playing a Lost Box variant that a handful of players have done okay to decently well with, but today, in a post-rotation world, Dialga gets some new support that potentially shoots it right into the meta. I'm Jeff from InThirdPerson.com. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let's talk about the new Dialga V-Star. Today, we're gonna to be looking at this build from Thailand Regional League. Over almost 400 players at this event, and it got second place, only losing to Gouging Fire at the very end. And there's a pretty good chance that Gouging Fire won because Gouging Fire hits for weakness on metal Pokemon. So there was a good shot that this player, again, shout outs to you. I'm not gonna be able to pronounce that name, but shout outs to you for this awesome build and performing as well as you did. Back to the build. Dialga V-Star is a metal Pokemon with 280 HP. It has three retreats. So you're not going to be moving this very much. And it's got two attacks. Its first attack, Metal Blast, does 40 damage plus 40 more damage for each metal energy attached to this Pokemon. You theoretically can get this to a point where it can one-shot everything. And with the help of Star Kronos and the new Matang engine, it's possible to get those numbers to a point where you are just absolutely obliterating anything in front of you. But the big appeal of this card is Star Kronos. For four metal and a colorless energy, does 220 damage, and you get to take another turn after this one, and that's absolutely insane. 220 damage, you could potentially take four prizes in that, that sequence, depending on how things play out. Um, and it's always been such a cool, <laughs> I always love trying to go for that Star Kronos because it's such a cool way to um, play the game and get that extra attack off. And it's always been kind of difficult because getting five energy onto Dialga V-Star is quite the chore. But in the new world, thanks to Temporal Forces, we're getting a whole new engine with Matang. It's a stage one Pokemon and it has the ability Metal Maker where once during your turn, you can look at the top four cards of your deck and attach any number of basic metal energy you find there on your Pokemon in any way you like, and then shuffle the other cards and put them on the bottom of your deck. You do not have to waste resources using Metal Maker. They just get to go to the bottom of the deck, which is really nice. And with that type of energy acceleration, if you've got two of these on the board, maybe even more, uh, you can power this thing up no problem well there's a it's a much easier time you're gonna see in the video sometimes this hits great sometimes it doesn't we are running 16 energy to try and improve our odds and sometimes it works absolutely awesome at the very least i think this is the best metal acceleration we have at the moment magnazone technically lets you look at more cards but it's a stage two and it's much more difficult to set up we also have one mu ex to help us draw cards up to three and we can use this as an attack as well because genome hacking is three colorless energy and matang helps us accelerate energy to anything so the fact that mu is psychic doesn't matter and we can use its genome hacking attack to copy our active opposing poke our opponent's active pokemon's attack and then yeah for for counts we've got the 3-3 three, three dialga v and v star 4-3 on the beldum and matang one mew one radiant greninja to help us draw cards and discard energy um and then we've got two copies of zamazenta its metal shield ability makes it take 30 less damage from attack so it's a little harder to ko and its retaliate attack is very strong for two metal and a colorless it does 100 damage and if any of your pokemon were knocked out on the previous turn you do 120 more damage so 220 damage on a single prizer is fantastic for trainer cards, we've got three copies of Ultra Ball. You discard two cards, grab a Pokemon of your choice. Vitality Band is a, it's an interesting include here. You get to do plus 10 damage, which doesn't seem like a lot. But I think in particular, this is great for Zamazenta when you are trying to attack something like a Iron Hands or a Roaring Moon that ha hits has 230 HP. And in order to hit that breakpoint, you will need that Vitality Band to do so. 
We've got Defiance Band here if you're behind on prizes, and oftentimes this deck can be behind on prizes because of the way it sets up. You can do plus 30 damage with the Defiance Band equipped. Two copies of Buddy Buddy Puffin, which helps us get out our 70 HP Pokemon or less. So really, we're using this to get the Beldums on the board. Super Rods, four of them. That seems like a lot. <laughs> um, however, this lets you shuffle up to three in any combination of basic energy and Pokemon. And this is an incredibly important card in the deck because you will be flying through energy very quickly between Greninja discarding the energy to your Pokemon getting knocked out. And it's really important to know how many super rods you have and use them when needed so that your energy goes back in the deck and you have a better shot of loading them up with Metal Maker. And I'm hammering this point home because this becomes a problem for me later. And if you watch to the end, you'll, you'll understand what's going on. Two copies of Technical Machine Evolution, where for one colorless energy, you get to choose up to two of your bench Pokemon. And for each of those, you get to evolve them right away. And that's awesome. This can help you get two Matangs ready. It can get you a Matang and a Dialga V-Star. However you do it, uh, you get to evolve two right away and help you get rolling. Uh, we also got two copies of Iono for hand disruption. Both players shuffle their hands into their deck or shuffle their hands, put it to the bottom of our deck and then draw equal to the number of prizes they have remaining. Great comeback card there. Prime Catcher is the a spec of choice in this lets you switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon into the active and then you do the same. Basically a item based boss's orders, especially if you have Mew on your bench where you can move Mew from the bench to the active and then with Mew having free retreat, just go back into your attacker. So it's basically a free or an item based boss's orders, which is fantastic. We still have two boss in the deck, but having an item based boss's orders equivalent is amazing as well. For three copies of Nest Ball to get our basics down. This is going to get us anything that Buddy Buddy Poffin can't. So our Dialga, our Zamazenta, and our Greninja, and, and Miwi X as well. Three copies of Professor's Research, discard our hand, draw seven. One of the best cards in the game, period. And then we also have three copies of Arvin, helping us grab an item and a tool card. And this is going to be great for grabbing those super rods and the technical machine evolution and prime catcher as well. So keep that in mind. And then, yeah, we said it before, 16 energy. Our general game plan, definitely get the at least one to two Beldums on the board, as well as a Dialga V. Um, ideally, you have Radiant Greninja and Mew there as well, but those can come a little later. By at some point in the second turn, you really want to get Star Kronos level energy on there with the Matang. Now, it doesn't always work out that way. You can use Metal Blast as a opening attack if need be. Well, not really an opening attack as your first attack. But really by like the third turn, you really want to be popping off with Star Kronos doing 220 damage and skipping a turn. And you'll see that doesn't actually always happen. <laughs> um, there are times where I use Star Kronos very late, but really you want to put the, the clamp down on your opponent early and run them over before they get going. But if it does get, if the game does run long, you do have the benefit of being able to super rod the energy back in and your metal makers are going to hit more consistently because there's just fewer cards to, besides energy that you are stuffing back in there. Don't forget, Zamazenta is a great backup attacker. And in a jam, you can attack with Mew EX as well. All right, let's get to these matches. Yeah, that's, oh, that's, uh, no, that's some sort of ancient, this is a gouging fire deck. Oh, we might get absolutely bodied here. This is not, <laughs> this is not the match we want to see. If they're hitting us for weakness, um, we might lose on turn one. Just absolute. Okay, we'll, we'll play it out. We'll see what happens. But this is not not at all the matchup that we want. Yeah, gouging fire already in the active. This is insane. Okay, so we get a Beldum down. We will actually Ultra Ball for a second. Beldum. I'm going to get rid of everything. We're going to go all in. Oh, wait. Can't do that. Can't do that. We have to have at least a Dialga V-Star on the following turn. And we have to hit big on the following turn. I realized I I needed an out to Dialga V-Star. So let's see. Maybe our opponent's bricked. Gouging Fire is a deck that I want to take on at some point. 
and actually it was the Thailand event where this was the grand finals and I'm playing the the Dialga that came in second place and arguably Dialga lost because this hits Dialga for weakness and this might actually be the same deck <laughs> 280 HP no on a basic I hope they've bricked really hard and I hope we hit a bunch of energy on this Matang okay well we're not gonna get it now let's see let's see hopefully we can still play the game we are like in a little bit of a a conundrum here yeah just against the fire deck period we are going to have a hard time but we're gonna try it out we're gonna try it out losing the yeah losing the matang is kind of annoying but we do get a dialga v-star i mean we had a dialga v-star but now we have another one holy cow now they're going to go and plow through, get another whole six cards. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're going to go and get some chip damage here, potentially. Yeah, oh, interesting. They soften up the Dialga on the bench. Now, there is a potential play where we, if we can get <laughs> three energy off the... Ah, there it is. Okay. I was going to say, we, we could have taken... There's the potential for us to take a one-shot on the... On this one. Iron Valiant. That's it. But they smart in, smartly <laughs> removed it. Yeah, they're also weak to metal. And that would have been nice. But it's okay. For one... We have to keep in mind... Okay. Can we... Can we hit? Okay, Defiance Band, we might... Nope, I didn't want to put it there. Ah, oh, damn it. That was silly. That was silly. Okay. Um, we're going to get rid of two of this energy. And let's go grab ourselves a Matang. And we need to hit three. If we can hit three. Please. Three. Oh my goodness! Yes! <laughs> okay. That, that was lucky. That was lucky. That's never happened to me. <laughs> ah, okay, no, that happened in the... That's happened at least once. But we get the Star Kronos. We get the Star Kronos. That's fantastic. And now we get the second turn. We can start building up the, the second Dialga. And uh, do we actually go in and take out the... Okay, hold on. How do we want to approach this? Um, let's go... Ultra Ball here. Get a second Dialga. And a Vit Band. Mm, I would like some draw support. That would be nice. But I don't think we're going to get it. Okay. Um, I actually don't need the Vitality Band. I don't think I do. I'd rather hold on to the energy. Let's go get a second Dialga V-Star. Ready to go. Um, or... Yeah, I think we get a second Dialga V-Star, so we have that ready, and we pray that Matang can stay alive on the following turn. Do we hit? We hit one energy. Okay. Okay. And we go swing for 240. Really annoying, that charm. Okay. Okay, there's the Zam. Zam is good. Zam is good. Um, Zam could be used to bail us out later, especially against this Iron Valiant, which is only going to, which is weak to metal. Okay, they're going to go in with the Squawk Stall for time. Um, damn, that Matang hit was real good. And we do get some draw support, actually. I asked for draw support, and the game answered. Okay, they're going to go and drop a couple more damage counters here, but they better have a way... <laughs> of getting I kind of hope they have more like I really don't want this game to boil down to like me hitting a gouging fire once and then them not having any sort of recourse that would feel really bad because then it's not much of a video here but I have a feeling they're stuck <laughs> come on man I want to get some decent matches in okay they're gonna vacuum I mean, vacuuming away the Defiance Band off the Matang doesn't change anything. Sure. I mean, get rid of my misplay. 
there's there's got to be something right maybe it's a mew but they can't leave okay yeah prime catcher them okay yeah okay there it is that's the play um this could work out in our favor though if they get a gouging fire back down and we could boss it up blast it and then we're laughing okay because we should be able to now that's assuming okay there's a couple things at play here <laughs> a couple things at play we need to oh they're going green inch okay huh i think regardless i think if we can get ourselves to a point where Dialga can take a one shot here. So this is doing 120. This should one shot with only two energy. This one should one shot an Iron Valiant. And then we have this one that can one shot a, a Gouging Fire. Okay. Let's see how we, how the energy hits off of the Matang and we'll figure it out. And this attaches energy, okay. Because there is a world where we have to attach energy to the Mew to copy the Gouging Fire attack and then blast it. And that would be actually be kind of sick. I kind of hope that that's what happens here. Okay, yep, they get their Gouging Fire. Okay, they get one. They'll get one off the... Yeah, do they have a third? Like Sada's Vitality or something like that? That would be nice. Oh, counter catcher. Ooh, blasting the tank does kind of suck. Um, okay. Uh, do we have? We should have our prime catcher too, right? We haven't used it yet. We should. Okay. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna preemptively put the. I'm gonna put a sixth energy on. I think we need. Uh, right now we don't. We don't have to put extra energy on the. I'm gonna preemptively set up the Zamazenta, which I. And let's draw, uh, let's play the Arvin first. Okay. And I'm going to Metal Maker here. I should have used the Prime Catcher. Oh my goodness, we bricked off the Metal Maker. That's unfortunate. Let's go and Prime Catcher up the, the Gouging Fire. And now we draw cards. Oh, with Mew. And we should still hit. Yeah, let's go get a second Beldum down. 240. With that metal blast. And this is still not done. This is still not done. Okay, well, we get the win. Gee, geez. Um, yeah, there was a, a potentially a world where the <laughs> the gouging fire. Um where the gouging fire actually gets set up and, and does some stuff. Unfortunately, they didn't, and maybe that's the the strength of this deck is we were able to get that Star Kronos off early and take that KO. It's not the most efficient way of using it. Like if they hadn't put on the charm and we had the Vitality Band on, we could have done 230, take a one shot on that Gouging Fire and then keep it moving from there. Unfortunately, didn't work out that way. We still got the win and we're able to um, just kind of oppress them. Like once Dialga has five energy on it, it's an absolute unit that can potentially one shot anything. And especially with the Matang just loading up energy, you couldn't put, you can put up enough energy on a Dialga to one shot anything. So uh, we will take that win. It was, a, it was a squash, but we'll, we'll take it. GG's. I'm going to go Zam, Zam and the active is terrible. Um, okay. All of this is bad. Okay. Lugia. Let's go and get down a Greninja and pray that we can get some stuff. Lugia is not. Okay, we get a Mew. Um, yeah, D Zamazenta hitting for only 100 is pretty awful, to be honest. Um, I don't like that. I wish we could get something else they're gonna get their mancino down i think a prime catcher maybe like if we can get 
No. I'm trying to think, like, what's the best way to go about this? If we can put ourselves in a position to... Yeah, now they don't have any Archaeops in the... Oh, they're going to get an Archaeops in the discard pile. Possibly get both of their Archaeops in the discard pile right now. But let's see. Let's see. If it's only one, maybe we can figure something out. Oh, no. Yeah, hitting for only 100 is cringe. And they're probably going to get the second one right here. Nope, they don't. Okay. Okay. Ah. Uh... Okay, let's go and start with Greninja. Throw that energy in the discard pile. Let's go. We get him a Tang. That's good. Um, I probably want, like, Nest Ball and... Nest Ball Prime Catcher? And then we take out the Minchino? Ah, uh, we can't do both. I have to get a Dialga down. Have to, have to, have to. Okay. Um, I guess we could TM... Right? If we're not going to attack anyway. Okay. Let's go and get down a Dialga. I mean, we have the evolution in hand. Uh, that's going to be better than... Yeah, hitting the Lugia for 100 isn't going to do it. Let's go and Metal Maker. Let's see what happens here first. Okay. One energy. Not really moving the needle on there at all. Let's go and attach energy to the Dialga. Let's go and attach the evolution and we will go evolution Dialga V-Star so that we are and just that we don't run the the Metagross. <clears throat> so I expect to get knocked out. Hopefully we can put ourselves in a position where Yeah, if we take a KO on the Chinchino and then we can boss up the Lugia and take like three prizes potentially on this turn, that would be fantastic. Now, what's the sequencing here? We're going to get one more card and we'll have down to four. If I ba play the basic energy versus Metal Maker, like what's the best way to... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, That's bad. That's bad. Okay, they're just going to read the wind here. That's unfortunate. I did not account for <laughs> a second read the wind. They don't have the second Archaeops in play, though. Okay, let's go and... Um, uh, I guess we Metal Maker and see how much energy we hit here. We get two. And I think we have to... We have to attach it to ourselves, right? And we want to stay alive a little longer. Or do we boss up? Actually, yeah. I think we we retreat and we hit this thing. Yeah, that. I think that's the play. I think that's the play. So we're going to retreat. We will go get Giratina. We have five energy. We're going to go and super rod three of those back in give ourselves some better odds of hitting energy on the next one and we will go and get a second Beldum and let's go boss up the Chinchino and we'll hit that for 120 now we know yeah the Lugia is not one shotting us in the following turn and that gives us a opportunity to <clears throat> to potentially two shot this if we can hit two energy off the next Matang. So very curious to see how they approach this next one. They don't get an Archaeops here. They are going to get... They have to get something down. Right? Okay. We're going to get a Manchino down. That's fine. For now. Um, If it's heads... Oh, man. Okay. Luminion gets them... It gets them Archaeops... And, oh, okay. Yeah, they could do it that way, too. I was going to say, they could get an Archaeops and a Lugia V-Star. And if they had an Ultra Ball, they could grind up the Archaeops. Uh, I guess they... However they do it. Um, yep, yeah, they should get Lugia V-Star here. Yeah. 
Um, and they could knock out Dialga, and that would be very sad. They probably sh uh, No, they can't. They can hit Dialga, but they can't one-shot. So yeah, they can summoning star. Um, I think it is imperative for us at this point, then, to knock out this... Hmm. Okay. Actually, you know what? Depending on... Yeah, they can hit for 200. That's fine. If we can cut off... Okay, hold on. Let's go and... Because we can Prime Catcher here too, right? And we can potentially hit this Lugia V. Um, I'm going to... Yeah, let's get rid of the two energy. Let's go and grab ourselves a second Matang. And I want to... Let's Metal Maker first, see where the energy goes. No! Oh, God. Oh, God. Please. Two. No! Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Oh, this is... This is very bad. Okay. Um... Because we're only doing 160, 200. Uh, we're going to have to Prime Catcher here. That sucks. 210, yeah. I cannot believe that. Okay. We are going to have to hit, say... I could hit the Archeops here and cut off their draw. Um... I kind of want to push the prizes, though. Okay. Let's go Vitband. And I will attach energy to... Okay, let's go and see how much damage we're doing to the Luminion first. We're doing 160. We're not even one-shotting Luminion. Okay. That is not good. Not good. We do get an Iono on the following turn, but like that's not what we wanted. We really wanted to skip the turn there, and we are not going to be able to do that. Oof. Big oofs. Okay, Jacques now gets them their Mancino and a second Lugia. Um, yeah, I would probably just stick with... Let's see how they play it. I really don't want to give them four fresh cards right now. Missed energy. Yeah, I... Okay, the Zam hitting for... 220 isn't necessarily the worst. I think we leave them with the two. I think we leave them with the two. And we... Try and build up a Dialga V-Star here. Let's go in Metal Maker. And we hit one energy. Where? Are, where's our energy at? Yo. Nine? Oh, God. Okay. Please, get me something. No! Okay. I think we gotta, we gotta hit the Iono. I think we gotta hit an Iono here. Um, I'm gonna get rid of the Buddy Poffin. And let's go grab a Matang just to get stuff. And hopefully... Man. There's a second Zam. A second Zam is not the worst. Um... I think we need to... We need to find a Rod. We have to get that energy back in the deck. Holy cow. And we don't get it. Oh, no. And we're going to throw even more energy. Okay. Okay, we're gonna hit for 230. This is miserable. Holy cow. Please don't tell me they have a boss. Please. No, Luminion. Okay, Minchino's fine. Minchino's fine. Um, if. Okay, so we're gonna shoot a fresh Lugia into the active. Uh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> At that point, is it better to go in with the Zam? No. Oh, no. 
No. Okay. We can take out the... Holy cow. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. <laughs> Here's what we're gonna do. We have to get we have to get Dialga set up. Like we have to have to have to get Dialga V Star set up. And how much energy is how many rods? We have two rods and one energy. Okay. Okay. So uh if we boss up, we take it to one prize. Is that worth it? Or is it worth just softening this up? There's a rod. Um, what's the play? What's the play? Hold on. If we get a bunch of energy here, I think it's Arvin. Uh, no. Okay. Mm, I'm agonizing here. Let's go. Okay. I'm going to research. Okay. And we are going to throw a bunch of energy back in. And I'm going to pray. Okay, there's our three. I'm praying we can skip turns later. Okay, we're gonna hit for 230. And hopefully they can't gust around this. If they can't gust around this, we have a chance. If they can't gust around it, we have a chance. We still might lose. I think we still might lose. We have lost so much energy. Um, and we can't even. Okay, they're gonna tempest dive. Okay, so they can't gust around. Uh, we need to hit rod like in the worst way. Okay, I'm gonna put mute ex here and. Yalga. Um, if we okay, we have four cards remaining. We are behind on prizes. Um, I think we have a couple rods left. Let's go and research. Yeah, if we go research, that gives us one card gives us zero we have zero left okay we are gonna go throw in three energy we're not gonna attach all of it now okay we are going we know we have the three we know we're good for the three i'm only gonna attach one that gets us the 220 that gets us the knock on the lugia there it is g g's oh my goodness <laughs> All right, so we went and took down one of the strongest decks in the game. Turning off the camera here, uh, my son just woke up from his nap. Can't show him on here. Um, but yeah, that was a really tight one. <laughs> um, Minchino th thankfully did not... Oh, Chinchino thankfully did not factor into that. They were fighting it pretty much entirely with Lugia. Try they tried taking hits. Zamazenta kept us in that game. And then we were able to manage our energy <laughs> just well enough and like we arguably <laughs> that was a struggle getting the the energy in play but being able to sequence that just so at the very end so that we could take the KO on the Lugia and then put ourselves in a checkmate situation afterwards pretty awesome so uh we will take that win GG's we are gonna go with the Zam in the active unfortunately no Dialga here and that's kind of cringe <laughs> We can get a, at least a Beldum down, possibly a Dialga V as well, but 
Um, not not so hot on the the starting hand here. Hate starting Zamazenta. Because at best, we get three energy on there and we do a hundred damage. I guess here we can take out the the Charmander. Hey, there's a Diablo B. There we go. And we should be able to get a Beldum down. At least. Uh Not an ideal start. I could also go for... I think we just got to get to build them. Uh, let's go see what we have. So we have 4-3. We've got 1 Mew, 2-2. Two, two, and let's go check the rest of our deck. 2 Arvin. Yeah, this is something 1 Iono. I think that's fine. Um, our prizes look fine. <laughs> 10 energy is a little low. If anything. Okay, so we can go and grab... Err. What's the best play? It might actually be better to grab the evolution tool rather than... I mean, if we try it, let's see. If it, all they have is the Charmander, do we have a way of getting... Yeah, if they just instant charge right now, I think we go for the Donk. If they a, get some other Pokemon down, I think we just use Arvin and get the evolution tool rolling and we try and set up... Dialga and Matang. Okay, they got the four seal stone. They're probably going to get a little better set up here. I'd imagine so. <laughs> this is going to be a tough matchup. They do have the Radiant Charizard, and Radiant Charizard absolutely obliterates Dialga V-Star in the late game. So we could be in trouble. Regardless of how this shakes out. But yeah, the Zamazenta start is no good. I think arguably we could have started with the Radiant Greninja instead. Probably should have started Radiant Greninja instead. Let's see. They got to play Buddy Poffin here, right? Oh, okay. Arvin. I mean, they will get a Buddy Poffin here plus a tool. Plus the Max Belt. Okay. I mean, they might not have any other tools and that's fine. That the max belt is not gonna uh, i guess no it's not gonna matter like yeah they're gonna blast mu ex anyway so hmm okay we get a nest ball that's nice we get the Aga v star set up um i think we get mu ex set up here so we can start drawing some cards and arguably could have gone okay let's go draw up Boop, boop, boop. Hey, we got a Matang here. And you know what? Just out of curiosity, let's go and see what we hit. Nothing. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, we're not going to be able to attack anyway. So I'm going to... Yeah, let's go. Do this. Um, I could... Yeah, the evolution tool is only going to get me one extra Matang. Um, actually, you know what? We have a bunch of energy in the discard pile already. Let's go and get all of that back. So let's go Super Rod and then Technical Machine Evolution. And yeah, hitting it for 220 with the... Hitting for 220 with another Zam, like we could have used that time to get another Zam up. And really the only thing we can do. Oh, okay. Yeah, we could technically go into Metagross, but we don't have a Metagross. So let's just go and set up a Matang here. I guess we could go into a Zam. We do have the option to go into Zamazenta on the following turn. And that's still, I think we have to bench the Zamazenta and we have to see how much energy we hit on the first Matang. Because if we can't get five energy down, if we can't get five energy down, then we could be in trouble. I think they got to have the combo here, right? Yeah, they're going to get rid of their max belt, as they should. I think it'll be telling what they grab off this Ultra Ball. Okay, they got the, they must have the Rare Candy Pidgeot, and then they'll, they'll do some shenanigans here. Here comes the Charizard. Almost certainly they're going to boss. They could boss up something here. 
and could make this a problem. Yeah, Charizard. Charizard's still very good. And it was interesting in, in Japan for a couple of weeks there, the Beebrill variant was actually the number one variant. And in hindsight, it's kind of, I don't know. Like, I understand the whole idea of having a single board or like a single, uh, you know, single prizes and you have to go through the Charizards, but it just doesn't feel like as consistent as Pidgeot has continued to be. And even in Japan, that kind of cooled off. Yeah, quick search. I'd probably blast the Mew if I was them. Force me to go in with the Dialga and kind of take the double. But let's see how they play it. Like, we only have one card. There's no point in playing Hand Disruption at this point. Yeah, boss up the... They could also go for a Matang and try and force me to have all the energy on board. Oh, they're going to go straight for the Dialga. Uh, I don't hate it. I don't hate it for them. That makes the... We should be able to get an attack off on the Charizard. They're only hitting for 180. The Zamazenta can come back and finish off this Charizard, giving us more time to... Yeah, Vitban's not 230. It doesn't really matter in this match, the Vitality Band, because we're... Oh, snap. Okay, we come in hot. Now we just have to hit two energy off the the other Matang. And actually, does it help for Mew to draw cards right now? I don't want to draw into energy, though. Okay, let's Metal Maker instead. Hey, there we go. So we go five. And I don't think there's a point in going beyond five on this Dialga because that puts us in a position where, yeah, this could be in a point where it one shots anything, but, um, okay. I could Iono here. Um, yeah, let's Iono here. If we get like a boss's orders or something and we get to load up more energy and take a one shot on something else, that would be goaded. Okay, let's go and conceal cards. Actually, probably shouldn't have done that. Okay, we get another one. Uh, we will take the Star Chronos hitting for 230. And then we are going to boss up the... Oh, yeah, we still have to hit. Ooh, if... No, I think we just knock out the... So we are doing 250. If we put one energy on... Ah, okay. Yeah, I think we have to take out the Pidgeot right now. I think we take the Pidgeot out right now. And what that does, that cuts off their draw engine. They have a Charizard that's still not swinging for too much. We can one-shot it with the Zamazenta afterwards. Um, I think, yeah, we will take um, the Arvin right now. And, ooh, do I use the Prime Catcher? Yeah, I think we have to Prime Catcher now because I... Oh, I burned the... Okay, we can't get an S-Ball now. Uh, we can take a Defiance Ban, sure. I really wanted to hit the Pidgeot. I should have done that first. Okay, so let's go Prime Catcher up the... <laughs> Prime Catcher, the Pidgeot. We'll bring in Mew. And we should be doing, what, 290? 300? Yeah, 290. Okay, and I'm not going to Metal Maker here. Let's just go and take out the, the Pidgeot. We can knock out this Charizard on the next hit. Okay, things got spicy. They got a little spicy. Um, a Dialga V would be nice. <laughs> Yeah, because now we've got like a guaranteed knockout here on this Charizard. Unfortunately, we give them a fresh set of cards. I don't like that, but we did cut off their draw engine. So we do make things a little more interesting on that front. Okay, here comes the Radiant Charizard. As they should. Yeah, if they're just swinging, like if we're doing uh, the other argument here is to boss up the Rotom now. 
and get it to two prizes and leave this one as an easy target, which I kind of like at the moment here if they have no draw engine. Um, I kind of like that. I kind of like hitting the Rotom here for that KO. We're going for it. We're going for it. I'm going to say bet you don't have any other any other means of bossing up either of my targets and if you boss around okay we get one energy here i mean if they boss and hit the dialga we still have the zamazenta and that means we're going to be doing a whole bunch of damage we get almost all the way set up on a dialga now the other trade-off there is a there is a downside here is that if they go in with the radiant charizard I guess if they go, if they blast this, then we still are kind of in trouble. Okay, we got a super odd. We can throw a bunch of energy back. That's good. Um, if they bring it down to one prize, oh, they can't. Let's see how they play it. Let's see how they play it. They have no draw engine. It's the eight cards. Eight cards is a lot of cards. They could come in with a fresh charizard and that would feel bad they could go in with the radiant charizard if we can skew the prize trade down to one mu ex could blast okay good iono good iono gets us down to two cards and we lose our diago v star yeah they probably go in with a fresh Do we, do we go in with the Mew right now? Um, the Mew's not going to take a one shot here. They probably go in with the Radiant Charizard. Nope, they go in with the Fresh Charizard. Okay. Um, hmm. What is the best course of action here? Yeah, Mew EX would one shot anything here. Okay, I think we pivot into. I don't think we can get enough energy on a Dialga to one shot this Charizard. Let's see. Let's see how we can play it. Let's see how we can play it. Oh, we get a third Matang. That doesn't really do anything. 10 energy in the discard pile. I think we have to throw all this energy back in and we can go what do we do here i think we have to play arvin thin our hand at least um if we go ultra ball hopefully get a dialga v star we are behind on prizes oh no we're ahead on prizes okay defiance spin doesn't matter um yeah i think it's just ultra ball evolution sure and then we i think we just get dialga v star here get another one and hopefully we we go all out on these metal makers here one Okay, we're doing, what does this do? <laughs> uh, four times five, four, eight, 12. Yeah, we're doing two, okay. This might actually be, okay, I'm actually gonna save energy for the Mew, because the Mew, we might need to boss up the Mew later. Okay, actually, yeah, let's go and get a Zam down. Zam might prove beneficial later okay if we're doing 240 um we need to hit how much energy 56 we need to hit three i think if we got a zam out we can probably yeah we have no energy in that next set so we're going in with five and we're gonna hit with four 240 I think they can they can absolutely still win this, right? You go in retreat and you go in 
with the Radiant Charizard. You hit us for weakness, at which point um, we need to get three energy on a Zamazenta and get a boss's orders. And 12... Yeah, almost all of our energy is going to be in the discard pile after this. Yeah, they got a hard retreat into the Charizard. Oh, okay. Okay, they're saying, bet you don't have the the energy in the deck to hit off these two Metal Makers. And hey, that's fine. That's fine. Um, we actually could attack with Mute EX as well. Now, if I go research right now and we draw into too much energy. Actually, you know what? We are going to let's go. Let's let's dig deep and try and get a super rod. Oh, no. Okay. Um, Mew can attack here and this lets us attach to any Pokemon, right? To your Pokemon in any way you like. Let's go and attach to Mew. And I am going to dig. Dig, dig, dig. We have to find a super rod here. We don't get it. Oh god, no! No! Two cards left and we don't have the rod? We could have won that right there. We could have won that right there. And uh, unfortunately, we lose. Oh, damn. That sucks. That really sucks. If we had a rod, we would have won the game. If we had a rod, we would have won the game. I should have price checked a little better. And instead, we just sit here and get absolutely obliterated. Um... So yeah, I'll take the L on that. I'll take the L. That sucks. That was a good match. That was a good match. Um, and really, that came down to me not managing my prizes better. I probably had multiple opportunities to look at my prizes. And I did look at my prizes specifically and was like, oh, we'll be fine. And then, no, we weren't fine. <laughs> we weren't fine. We were missing. Uh, our, our last two prizes were the rods. And I should have known that. And we probably would have played a little differently had I not yeah actually drawing deep into those cards ended up screwing me over because then all we drew into the the rest of the energy and now we couldn't accelerate the Mew so um yeah unfortunate loss there uh I'm gonna have to take that on the chin we were very competitive though and we absolutely could have won that game despite the Radiant Charizard hitting us for weakness and um yeah that was a that was a tough lesson for me to learn on my part but uh i will keep that in mind for next time count the super rods because this energy this deck can go through energy really fast and we really needed it right there and we didn't and that's that's my fault so we'll take that on the chin ggs there we go that is a look at dialga v star with matang again shout outs to the player who got second place at thailand regional league with this build appreciate you sharing that with us and dialga v star and matang as a whole i think it's certainly an improvement over the magna zone engine that we had before it's still a little temperamental maybe a little more temperamental than i would like but this deck has been seeing some results here and there in Japan and in this Thailand Regional League. And I would not be surprised to see it get some numbers in online tournaments and in-person tournaments as well. And I'm still kind of mad at myself, admittedly, over the Charizard match. I really should have done a better job of checking my prizes and playing around that because even with the two super rods prized i could have managed my energy better to put ourselves in position to win on that final turn but i i lost and i didn't do that and i hope that when you play that you keep that in mind do a better job of prize checking regardless of what deck you're playing and make sure you have the resources in order to finish the game and if you are missing some stuff change your game plan so that you are able to finish the game in the way that you expect so a tough lesson for me to learn in that video but um i think i've i've, I've seen what i saw what i did wrong and hopefully i don't do that again so uh, I'll have to sit on that for now, but yeah, I got to get going. Thank you so much for watching. You can find me on all the things, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram at in third person. You can find me on Twitch 
at in third person where I stream the Pokemon trading card game every Sunday at 10 a.m. Eastern time. And check out the website in thirdperson.com for more articles and videos on video games, board games, and other nerdy pursuits. Do you think Dialga is the real deal? Is it still a meme? Let me know in the comments below. All right, let's get out of here. I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.